We are here with Ryan, Giant Loop Ryan himself and his Beta 300. And uh, we're going to walk you through some fitment of Giant Loop bags for not only this Beta 300, but also really any dirt bike setup. So Ryan, tell us what you got on your bike. So this is a 2021 Beta 300. The fitment on this Beta is extremely close to what you'd see on a Yamaha, Honda, KTM, Husky, kind of any dirt bike sized bike out there. So fitment on this bike is applicable to really anything out there of similar size. Yeah, we have a Mojave saddlebag here, strapped to the fender, buck and roll tank bag, and then zigzag handlebar bag. So this is what I use for day rides, or if I'm gonna carry uh, certain certain times, I'll put the Mojave on if I'm gonna carry enough tools to fix a flat and tube and extra fuel and extra water. I never leave home without this setup. It gives me everything I need. And you know, I'm a small person and I don't like having a lot of weight on my body. And first thing I'm gonna do is take the weight, weight off my body and put it on the bike. So show us how you've mounted these. So Mojave Saddlebag. This is our updated 2023 Mojave Saddlebag and I have it strapped to where my mainframe and subframe meet. And this is super similar with the KTMs and Euro bikes out there. Certain instances you can go here, but typically here it's in line with the bag, which is the most stable position. On some two strokes, you don't have to run a heat shield. I don't run one on here, but you should always run one just to be safe for liability reasons. <laughs> I have this hooked to the fender, as you can see, using our pronghorn strap that's included and fender hooks that are included no tail rack needed it's extremely secure it's not moving so the left and the right are the same way for the mojave i have enough tools to fix the flat on one side and then sometimes extra fuel extra water and i still have enough room to slide my leg over and do extreme riding positions this is a waterproof bag and it's a roll top design so it's easy to get your stuff in and out of room enough in my experience for a full flat repair kit on one side and then uh whatever food fuel whatever you want to run on the other side even up to and including a one gallon armadillo bag will fit in one side of this uh, exactly. it has to be about three quarters full though the buck and roll tank bag so this sits right behind the fuel cap or just over part of it it sits sideways so it doesn't get in the way of your riding you can stand forward you can get a front raise your leg you can get as aggress aggressive as you want and this sits in that little pocket between the gas cap and where the start of the seat is uh, the betas have a little more room behind the gas cap to the start of the seat but extremely similar on any of the other big European brands or Japanese brands. And this space here allows me to still run a handlebar bag. So this is, I'll usually do phone, keys, snack bars. Uh, this is a carburetor bike. So I keep a screwdriver in here, uh, a bicycle multi-tool and a motion pro multi-tool just for those quick access. I hate stopping, having to go into my pack or ask a friend to go into it. I just unzip, I grab something, I pull it out. Those certain tools fit in the handlebar bag. And then on this, uh, I run tubeless on this bike. I carry my bacon strips, uh, plunger, bacon strip installer. So those go on the bottom there. And then usually CO2s or other tools and food go inside the buck and roll there. So quick access. I don't want to carry this on my back. That would be very unsafe. Mm -hmm. And doesn't get in the way. I don't feel it. Show us where you've mounted that buck and roll so buck and roll straps on this bike i have it mounted to i guess this frame support you can also go there but typically in line with the bag is the way to go so the way the straps are sewn in keep that angle and this is easy to do with the beta on the left and right front strap goes around the head tube i have it going around the cables and um, out of the way so i can do full lock with the bars and i'm not going to have the straps rub on it and it's it's extremely secure it's not going anywhere i can still pop the fuel cap off and access it i don't have to unzip the bag to get fuel in there it's right in that little cubby sweet ryan well thanks for showing us your setup if you have a dirt bike a beta 300 specifically or really any dirt bike setup this setup will work it's versatile enough you can make it work with just about any motorcycle it's a great way to get your gear off your back and onto your bike which we recommend so i'll uh, link all these products in the description for you so you can check them out and don't forget to go light go fast go far with giant loop <laughs>